All right, guys, Chris Roberts from CR2 with Ruben from CR2 Shooting Station. And we're back out here today to continue our weapon mounted, scope mounted, mounted laser rangefinder eval. Yesterday, we were out on the training areas getting some really long extended range. Very long. But it was kind of low mirage because we're out in more of a rural environment. Yep. Today we're in more of an urban environment, a lot more concrete, a lot more uh, blacktop asphalt. Oh yeah, cards, a lot of metal. Yeah, we can see the mirage is super thick. You can see it with your naked eye. So I think we're going to get a lot of other atmospheric conditions that we just didn't experience yesterday, although the temperature is pretty close to the same. Oh yeah, and the cloud cover, but what? 80, 90% it's sunshine. So we'll yeah, see a lot of radiation out there and we're gonna see how it affects those, uh, those light wave frequencies that, that we were talking about earlier. Yeah, so it should be really interesting. Um, we will have the IPSC target, uh, we'll have the humanoid target, uh, meaning Ruben, and we'll have that small, white, highly reflective, but also small target out there and just like yesterday, I didn't really highlight this early on. I highlighted it later on. Every time we range something, we'll range off in the distance. So that way we can clear the range out in the range finder and then range the actual target. That way we can make sure we're getting a pure range on that individual target that we're trying to get a good range for to be able to determine is the range finder actually indeed ranging that target yep. specifically. Got to delineate. So this could be a good one. Let's get this started. Every little micro adjustment basically looks like a huge mountain. Yeah, this is your little Five oh five with the vortex, five oh eight with the prototype. Five oh six with the Mars. Go ahead and hop out. Negative reading with the vortex. All I can get is the conics behind you, and I even did four quadrants. Negative reading with the prototype. Three confirmed lasers with the Mars. Go ahead and put up the IPSC. Negative with the prototype or the vortex, the Mars and the storm, both first time range, second time range, and third time range at 509 and 507 respectively. Let's go ahead and put up the small white sign. Okay, so that was interesting. All laser range finders gave me a 554, which is the Connex behind, and the except for the Envision Mars, the Mars gave me a 507 for the sign 
I even cleared it out, rearranged, gave me three consecutive 507s for the sign. All right, so this is interesting. When they weren't confused by the white background, more of the rangefinders did good on that small white target. So we got 717 Storm, 854 Vortex, 720 Prototype, 719 on the Mars. So the other two were able to pick up that small white one this time because there was no white in the immediate background. The, Mar the Mars and the Storm are the only things able to read the sign at this distance. The um, Vortex and the Prototype both read 853. Go ahead and bring it in. That's as far as we can see.